What's up guys? So here we go with Demigod, Books for Demigods Part 2. I'm going to talk about a book that I've found really, really interesting that I wish I would have found long ago. Uh, it could be almost considered the original self-development or self-help book, Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz, MD. I think it was from like 1966 or 1967, one of them fucking years. So. This is the originator of pretty much all self-help, all things about the self-image, the ego, how you think about yourself, pretty much everything that guys like Tony Robbins teaches. Um, Maximum Achievement by Brian Tracy takes a lot from this. Um, yeah, in fact, uh, that's, that book's pretty much just a ripoff of uh, this and uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People, which is going to be my next book review, which I believe to be probably the greatest book I've ever read and the most important to me, but this one is a bit more recent and it's very fresh in my mind. Uh, it's quite a deep book to get into. Uh, it really breaks down everything with proper science and why everything works instead of the spiritual way that a lot of these other books go into things. I don't really mind the spiritual stuff, but for someone who's more of an analytical thinker and thinks that spirituality is dumb, first off, I feel sorry for you, but second off, this is a good book to start. Coffee break. Just about to hit a workout with Mr. Brian Wong. Should be fun. It's been a while. So, uh, this book is just amazing. So, pretty much it starts off talking about visualization. Visualization is one of the most important things, and I'm really, really, really trying to get more into it. Uh, it's one of the main reasons that I'm also quitting weed, because I feel like there's a bit of brain fog whenever I try and really visualize this stuff. So, it talks about visualizing goals and then making that part of your reality. So you have an automatic success mechanism and an automatic failure mechanism. So they're always active. Most people uh, are always activating the negative part with the reticular activation system. So whatever you think about and focus on will become your reality and will dictate your life and your thoughts. So for example, what is worry? Worry is putting yourself in the shoes of already failing. So if you're worried about a job interview and then you picture yourself in that interview doing badly and not getting the job, then you will start to internalize those feelings. So it's like you are feeling the, you're feeling the effects of failure before actually failing. Like you'll get that pit of your stomach and you'll imagine in detail what it will be like to fail. You can do the same thing with success and almost all people who are successful know this if they've read this book or not. Like someone like, uh, you know, uh, Conor McGregor, kind of a goof. I don't really like him very much, but I respect him because he came from nothing and he talks about visualization. He talks about how he like before he ever had the UFC belt, how he already carried himself and felt like a champion and he felt like he already owned that belt. And when he got the belt, they were like, how do you feel to have this? And he's like, I feel the same because I feel like I've always had it. And that is really the only attitude that can take you where you want to go in life. So if you picture what you want and act as if you already have that, that is the most powerful thing that we have, honestly. Like, if you really think about it, it's fucking pretty crazy that it works that way. And it's the opposite of worry. It's like, instead of worrying, you're worrying about the future of success. It's like a positive worry. And we do it all the time. We're always worrying about that kind of stuff. Um, you know, that's that was one of the most important parts of the book. And I'm really, really trying to internalize it. Um, I'm honestly not doing the book justice. You really have to read the whole thing, but pretty much all the self-help concepts that I've heard of like the self-image and how you talk to yourself and everything like that pretty much derives from this book. Um, the visualization practices and everything else like that 
it's just amazing. There's a lot of really good exercises. I've been trying to find an actual paper copy of this because I've only listened to it on audiobook. But it's pretty crazy that this book came out in like 19 fucking 60s. So a little bit more about the author and like one thing that I found really cool. So this guy was a plastic surgeon before plastic surgery was big. And one of the things he noticed was that if someone had an outward flaw, like if two people had the same outward flaw and he fixed both of them, one person would be good to go and would have complete confidence and good self-image and the other person would still, even if they were perfect now, in everyone else's eyes, but they would still have a negative self-image of themselves. And then he began to think like, what is this? So it's not the actual image of how they look, but it's their own image of themselves that they hold, right? So it's it's not that you need to work on how you look outside, it's how you have to work on how you look at yourself. So that's one of the big things that he realized with all this plastic surgery. Um, yeah, it's just a really crazy book. Uh, I've actually read it probably two or three times in the past past month that I've been landscaping because I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks. Honestly, it's the only thing that got me through that. But yeah, highly, highly, highly recommend it above all other books. Read it first. It's the basis for all the self-help. Um, it's hard to do a book justice in this time. I don't really, I don't want to take notes. I don't want this to be like me fucking going through, making bullet points, fucking PowerPoint presentation. But I just like do this off the collar stuff. So please do yourself a favor and find this book, Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz, MD. Very, very, very important. Please enjoy and have a wonderful day. Bye.